Honorable President of Congress Party, Mr. Prime Minister Sri Rahul Gandhi, distinguished delegates, ministers, leaders, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is indeed a special privilege for me to be here at this convention to talk a little bit about technology and development. I want to thank organizers, especially Rahul Gandhi and Mrs. Gandhi, for giving me this opportunity. Technology is a great social leveler, second only to death. Technology has been used very effectively by our party to bring development to millions and millions in the last 60 years. Our founding fathers, rightfully so, after independence, focused on higher education and technology. We build institutions and infrastructure required to focus on technology for development. Technology has played an important role in improving longevity, decrease in infant mortality, improving communication, transportation, providing more food, but at the same time, technology has not been able to eliminate poverty, disparity, hunger, environmental blunders. Technology going forward is very different than the technology we had in the last 50 years. India has had a great tradition of technology. We had Takshashila, Nalanda as the best institutions of learning 2700 years ago. India was the largest economy in the world in 1760, not too long ago. After British Raj, our economy came down from 27% to 2%. So when we had our independence, we had very little technological base in terms of modern technology. All modern technology has roots in defense and West. Mainly because best brains in the world today are busy solving problems of the rich who really don't have problems to solve. And as a result, problems of the poor really don't get the right kind of talent. Rajiv Gandhi provided the right kind of political will to solve the problems of the poor using technology. I was fortunate enough to have had the chance to work with him. He had the vision, he had clarity, and he gave us all the backing that we needed. Then we had 2 million telephones. It used to take 15 years to get a telephone connection. In a short span of 20 years, with all the work he started, today we have 900 million phones. We are a nation of a connected billion. The key is how do we use this connectivity going forward. We have made significant progress in atomic energy, space, agriculture, milk production, and telecom and IT. Not only that we have 900 million phones, we also generate $120 billion worth of software export every year, year after year. I believe this base that was created during Rajiv Gandhi's time is going to create whole new India for all of us. Dr. Manmohan Singh, decided to launch Knowledge Commission to really focus on knowledge, institutions and infrastructure. Ten years ago, 10% of our children could go to college. Today, 20% of our children can go to college. It's a monumental accomplishment. We don't get credit for it. Similarly, we have launched public information infrastructure to connect all our universities with optical fiber, all our panchayats with optical fiber, UID, 
GIS, computerization of courts, police, prisons, all of this work that we have launched during last 10 years, it is essentially going to change the face of this country. I am very bullish on India. I am very bullish because we have young leadership, young population, 550 million young below age of 25. To me, that is the workforce for the world and not just India. How are we going to create more jobs? How are we going to provide opportunities to large number of people? It cannot be done without technology. Technology is the only instrument to address disparity that Mrs. Gandhi talked about. Technology is the only instrument to eliminate poverty. I am convinced that in the next 10 years, we will address poverty. We have the political will, we have the new tools with IT, web, internet, biotech, nanotech, material science, and all kinds of other tools. I know that Rahul Gandhi is committed to technology. He has the tools of tomorrow. And I think this country today needs leadership in 40s and not in 60s. I hope that together we can begin to democratize science, technology, knowledge to really democratize our society. I know that all of you believe in young leadership. I want you to know that the Congress is the only party that can focus on technology to solve the problems of the poor. I know Congress can only, Congress is the only party that can create jobs of tomorrow. We need to create 15 million new jobs. It cannot be done without focus on technology. I am delighted to be a part of this journey. I look forward to working with the party, though I am getting old, I am 72, and my time is up. But I am always excited about our party, about our leadership, and about the potential in India. Thank you.